I'm an Oxford University maths graduate and here are my top three tips for what you should include in your personal statement. The third one might get me in a bit of trouble. The first tip is to actually talk about maths. There are so many people who ramble on about how they love football or how they love doing ballet in their spare time. To be honest, the Oxford and uh, Cambridge tutors could not give Bruh. a shit. They would much rather see how much you like maths, how much of a big maths nerd you are, and how you can be compatible with the course that that university provides. My second big tip is do not bullet point things. Loads of people say, I've read this book, I went to, I went to this lecture, I studied this theorem, blah, blah, blah. Don't just list. I mean, it's great that you've done all these things, but go into a bit more detail. Great, you went to this lecture about graph theory, but then what did you do after that? Did you go away and research this interesting theorem that they mentioned? Did you go and do your own research? Think about what problems that can apply to you? How can it be used in the real world? Show how you can take the maths that maybe you learn in the classroom every day and then take a step back like do your own research because at the end of the day that's what you're going to be doing at university you're going to go to your lectures you're going to learn some maths then you're going to go away and be you know researching that solving some problems so they want to see are you someone who is already doing that already driven to do that the third tip is they don't give Bruh. they do not care they do not care about your personal statement oxford and cambridge at least could not give it Bruh. 99.9% .9 of personal statements will not even get read uh, if you're applying to do maths at Oxford or Cambridge. The reason is because they care about having the best students academically and they have much better ways of assessing that than via a personal statement. It's so easy to lie on a personal statement. They have the maths admissions test or the step if you're applying to Cambridge, which they can use, which is obviously a much better way of seeing how good you are at maths. And also the interviews as well, where they get to meet you face to face. And that's another chance for them to assess your mathematical ability. They don't care about your personal statement. It's a bit like your GTSEs. It feels like it's a really important thing at the time, but then no one gives Bruh.